Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. Got another review for you. This time we have an EA FT24 review. Now, I think your news is coming eventually, but it took me a few days just because I got a new PS5, new PS5 camera, all this kind of stuff. So you can stop talking about next gen. I've got next gen now. Um, also, I'm just trying to get used to the game, really. Defending's a bit weird, passing's a little bit weird. There's a lot of women in the game now, so I'm trying to get used to how they play instead of just a tall men and stuff like that. So, first we got this Diani. Now, ignore the record, it's obviously boosted because I was doing the milestones. So, I bought it for 60k on like release day, I think it was. And obviously, since then, she's tripled in price, which is insane. But on the stats, she's five foot six, got the high high work rate, four star skills, four star weak foot, with her preferred foot as the right foot, and she's also got the controlled sprint style. Now I will touch on playtiles a lot this year because they are very, very important and I have noticed that a lot recently. So on alternative positions, she can play the right wing, right mid and also strike position, which is quite nice for a little bit of diversity and especially since there's no uh, position modifiers this year, you can just put her in that position and it will change them to that. So the stats, she's got the 89 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 88 dribbling and the 77 physical. So on paper it looks quite good. I decided to put the whole Kental on her just to boost up that shot power a little, little bit more because it is a little bit on the low side but I'll talk about that on the positive and negative side things after. There is a few stats I want to look into on this. It's the aggression, the composure, the long pass, especially as I've just talked about this year, and that shot power. Because you do need to get out of like high pressure situations quite easily this year, because I've lost a lot of people like to press. So, on play styles. So the first play style she's got is the technical ability. Now this is really, really good this year, and I'll touch on this a bit later. Flair's an obvious one. She has got the quick set one as well, which is the rocket one, which is really, really nice. I've seen that a lot. And she's also got the Travel of Trait, which is really, really nice also. Well, that's all for me and true. I'll see you after positive negatives. Peace. So once we have a thoughts about the card then, now let's get in detail on it. So first of all is a 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Now as you've seen I've done a 4 star skill there, but I don't really do that many this year. I generally tend to do it, like to leave it to the weak foot like that. Maybe when I get more advanced on the game and a bit more into it, I'll do more skills and that. But generally it's a press meta, so you just need to get the ball out, swing it wide, pass it back in the middle and then score like this. But generally, I'm not really using it as much. Her skill speed doesn't bother me, but that weak foot is really good, to be fair. On both feet, she's quite strong, and I'd be very confident on shooting on both. 
Now, the pace for me is really good, to be fair. Top end, she's not really the best, because obviously she's got the lengthy meta, and defenders are insanely fast at top end speed. But generally, to get off the mark with that whole chemistry style, very, very nice. Now, the shooting attributes for me, so the actual finishing is really, really good. The attack position is exceptional. The closure, I didn't find too much of an issue. Obviously, she would hit the bar, like, now and again. But generally speaking, it wasn't too bad. Now, the shot power, even though I've got the whole chemistry style, was a little bit weak at times, and especially when you're, like, sweating it across the box and you take a first-time shot, it might actually not go in because they hit it too light. Now, as I talked about before, the trait. So the technical trait is really, really nice. For flares, it's just an obvious one there. It's not too much of an issue. Same with the Travella. They're okay stat them ones. But the uh, technical one and quick step are very, very good this year. Now, if you've got them in gold like Rodman has, it's so amazingly good. But we'll get back to it then. So as I was saying, the passing, it's not too bad. The short pass and the vision... We'll get you out of some sticky situations, but that long pass, I wouldn't recommend you fitting it out with her a lot. Now, the dribbling. This is one of her better attributes. Since she's small and got high agility and got the quick step, she will just move around so amazingly fast, and it's really good to get you out of tight situations and get a shot off or get a pass off. Now, on to the attributes. Now, she's got high jumping, which doesn't really matter, in my opinion. I'm just going to completely disregard that because she's so small. Like, a lot of the women are going to be... Too small to even contest in the air, to like a Van Dyke or like that. So there's no point in them having like ninth end jumping or anything like that. Now the stamina for me didn't have an issue with it. It lasted all game, especially with my instruction on keeper four because you do need this uh, person for. She's very very good at just holding the ball, passing it wide, shooting, doing a few skills. She's got it all really set from those five star skills. Now the strength for me. I didn't really notice it too much because maybe that because of the aggression, but generally the short players aren't really going to have that high strength anyway base, so I don't really see the point of EA making like 90 strength on a woman that's 5 foot 2, it's just not going to work. But it felt more like 17 games, she wasn't weak but she wasn't strong on the ball. So on to my overall scores about the card then. Now first we're kicking off is the pace, now overall the pace I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. It's decent for the start of the game, it's not amazing, it's not too bad, so 8.5 out of 10 I think is a fair score. Now shooting for me, I'm going to give it more like a 9 out of 10. She's got the 4 star weak foot, she's got the Travella trait, she's got good finish, she's got good attack position, the composure isn't too bad considering some of the cards I've seen this year. So overall, I think that's a fair score. Now the passing for me, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, considering the high press method, you're just going to have to get it passing between them, so it's okay, it's not amazing, it's not bad. Now the dribbling for me is definitely one of her better attributes, especially with this technical and the quick step. Honestly, really, really good. So overall for that, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Now, the physicals, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Because she's so small, the strength doesn't really matter. Neither does the jumping. The only one that really takes into consideration there is that stamina. So overall, I think it's a fair score. Now, on my overall score for her, I'm going to give her an 8.7 out of 10. She's very, very good at the start of the year, and I highly recommend you pick her up. She's got good links, especially with the Leon links. I've seen there's a good left back, there's a good centre mid. But obviously, there's not too many in the women's league that's going to help you. So you're going to have to get those French links to like Saliba and stuff like that. So over for Valley for Queens, I think she's coming in at 180k, but this is before the whole game releases, so she might go up a little bit more than that. But I'm going to give her 8 out of 10 Valley for Queens. She's a very, very good card, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like for the price, especially at the start of the year, you definitely get a bit better of a card. But that's all for my viewers, always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe, it generally does mean a lot. But I've got nothing more to say, so I'll see you in the next few, and peace out, guys.